Hello, my curious souls. It's been a minute. It's been busy. Richmond, Kentucky seems to be behaving. So I took some time to go up to an area of Chicago, well, outside of it, around 20 miles, to a cemetery called Bachelors Grove Cemetery that I had read about. And I thought the best way to tell you about it was to actually experience it myself. And I gotta say, just so many parts around it are just plain strange. So just follow along with me here. We'll figure it out together. Okay, so let's jump into some history on this and I will do a second video about my experience. So Bachelors Grove is not just a cemetery it ends up. It was actually a settlement where people from New England came to and created. There were variations on spelling, pronunciation, and as of today, it's Bachelors Grove Cemetery. But it was not just a cemetery. It was just a cemetery, a part of a whole settlement. And I think that that was a little confusing to me, considering that I look up this place and there's a web page. And I think that this is just a fully operational business still happening cemetery. And it is nowhere close. It ends up that the web page actually connected to this is ran by who I believe to be a paranormal investigator who has dedicated a lot of research and study and amazing work into Bachelors Grove and all that's happening there between history and paranormal. Um, and that they kind of needed like an encyclopedia type, you know, way to be able to store this information for everyone to be able to see and add to. And they've even been asked to write a book on it. But as you look at the place a bit further, you'll see and some talk about this little pond or area out back. It's definitely there. It's not a pond anymore. I definitely believe whenever they say lagoon that that's truly what we're dealing with. But back in the day, families would come and they would spend time with their deceased loved ones, have picnics and swim or fish in the pond. What paranormal happenings are going on there? Well, you name it, and it probably is. There is a whole map dedicated to apparition sightings, lights, orbs, phantom automobiles. And these are not just happening at night, which is prohibited to go to at night. Stick to the rules. Go during the day. And, um, yeah, people are seeing all kinds of things. I think the most notable story to me, though, is this one behind me that happened in 1986. There was a report someone called in that someone fell into the lagoon. So they sent out a scuba diving team along with the police who realized they're not going to be able to dive because the water's too murky. They're using a spotlight and all of a sudden something pops out of the water, like on all fours, runs through the cemetery and climbs up in the trees. <sighs> Creepy as that. 